and then maybe mm -hmm. maybe I'll let you roast me for my patreons you can roast my handwriting oh perfect yeah should I introduce myself yeah introduce yeah. yourself okay my name is Leah and I make videos about handwriting analysis also known as graphology it's a branch of psychology that's largely shat on but here we are regardless <laughs> and the goal for looking at these samples today because there are certain traits that certain professions share and there are certain ways to recognize different professions or like different um i don't know like like different niches in handwriting sometimes like you know you, you can tell who kind of has anger issues sometimes you can kind of tell who it, like you can tell what people gravitate towards sometimes in handwriting and there are different like indicators that indicate different professions and the goal was I, I was trying to see, okay, anyone that considers themselves like a spiritual practitioner or a witch or like whatever people decide to call them as, like under that umbrella, is there anything that like these people share? So Olivia was kind enough to get me a bunch of samples. Yeah, I reached out and... to all of my practitioner friends and I just uploaded this huge google drive thing with just all these different samples so and i'm curious like if you have specific opinions on certain samples i'm going to try to like look and see who it is and try to like okay cool. confirm or deny from what i know of these people some of them i'm obviously oh. closer with than others but yeah oh fun okay wait can i share my screen okay this is my <laughs> folder okay this is my this is my folder and I found that there are three categories. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a lot of like different, it felt like, like in first looking at all the samples, I'm like, oh God, none of these have anything in common with each other. And then I started like really going through everything and kind of figuring out like, what are the similarities? There are some definite patterns so like there there's people that I would call like romantic like there's this very romantic style of handwriting that's like I guess I'll go a little deeper into these later but I found that someone wrote there are some people that write super like in this romantic style there's some people that write with like clear anger in their handwriting mm -hmm. and then there are some people that it's hard to say if it's gentle because for the most part it is gentle but this is also where I was kind of putting like my miscellaneous handwriting but like they all kind of do have a gentle quality to the writing um although like I think this was kind of the miscellaneous handwriting and I'm like wondering if these people are potentially like newer to the craft as well I'm not totally sure oh interesting but okay. so like my initial predictions for looking at the handwriting was I was like because I've looked at handwriting of people that are like very spiritual in the past and usually it's like large upper zones because like upper zones are like the upper third of the handwriting is like your moralities and like intellectual ideas and um and it also goes along with like it can go along with like religion and so I'm like okay that seems pretty witchy and I've like looked at other people that have like very like strong sense of spirituality and they usually have large upper zones and then I also was wondering if I'd see baselines that aren't really on the baseline just because um that would kind of indicate someone that's like very imaginative and like doesn't necessarily like has a hard time like keeping their feet on the ground just because I noticed that pattern in like a couple people's handwriting in the past but I actually didn't notice that really all that much and I didn't even notice too many large upper zones but anyways so for the romantic writers, the romantic witches, I noticed a lot of like arcaded styled handwriting, a lot of stylistic deviations, um, a lot of writing that's like reminiscent of older cursive styles. Mm -hmm. So for example, this is the Palmer method. This is uh, Spencerian cursive. And this is like Danielian. Th these guys are not, although it's a lot of cursive, it's like no one's writing like simple cursive. Like it's all cursive that's like, pretty reminiscent of like an older style of handwriting which would indicate someone that's like um I don't know that like honors like these older traditions which was kind of interesting okay um, so that's kind of interesting too because I'm curious if I'll be mm -hmm. seeing this more so in like 
traditional practitioners or people who follow like mm. more traditional things compared to something that's more of like a UPG and more of like new age style. Okay. So what's all, UPG? UPG is like unverified gnosis. So it's kind of like, it's not something that they got from a specific practice that is like taught and hierarchied. That's a weird word to say, but okay. like, it's, it's not like a structured thing. It's more of something that's kind of like based mm -hmm. off of intuition. Got it. Yeah. So these were like some of the patterns that I noticed. And then I guess I'll just show some of these like romantic styled writers. Like your handwriting is definitely in there because it's like, it's like this kind of older style cursive. It's also kind of like got these upper zones. Like you could argue like there's some indicators of anger in there, but um, it's, it's like definitely this like older style of cursive and like, here's it just like all these like style uh like even this like I put this person in this category because Interesting. It, it's like these stylistic deviations mm -hmm. that are happening um so I was like that's why I kind of the two people that you showed that weren't mine uh the first one is Annie mm -hmm. the green witch and she practices a lot of like a lot of folk mm -hmm. magic so it is a lot of like older style remedies and then mm. the next person you showed, um, I believe he, his name's Ocean, and he is a mm -hmm. Nordic practitioner. So again, very like based in folk and traditions. So I think that's kind of interesting that, that shows up in his handwriting. It's just cool. And again, the, honestly, like other graphologists may have other opinions on like people who are like super spiritual in their handwriting because like I know there are some graphologists where their houses they have like binders filled with handwriting like like this gal that I used to go to the study group with her name is Linda she says oh I could get out my stripper my stripper binder and it's like a what? binder filled with handwriting from all like strippers Fuck and I was yeah, like Linda. I'm like, oh my God, like what other binders do you have? Like, <laughs> I can get out my stripper binder. That's not something I would have ever thought to hear somebody ever say to me. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so because this, this is honestly what I'm attempting to do now, which I don't think I've really attempted to do this before where I like, like I kind of did this a little bit when I was trying to learn about uh writers with DID like dissociative identity disorder because there's not too much like thorough examination and like I, I'm like lucky to have like a bunch of systems that were willing to send me a bunch of handwriting so I was able to kind of do it for that but this isn't really something that I normally do so I feel like um I feel like not the biggest pro then in the angry writers it was like all this high tension like compressed letters angularity like this this is all indicators of someone that has like this tension and anger in them and um it's like a lot of people are like oh that's just the way I write that's just the way I write but it's like if you're writing in a way that's super tense and that's the way you normally write it's like that's how you normally carry yourself so that's what I kind of say to anyone who's like, oh, I'm not angry. This is just the way I write. And it's like, no. So here we've got like a lot of high tension. There's a lot of tension in there. This one was more of like a, oh, okay. And the other things I saw, I saw some large upper zones. I saw some evidence of impatience. I saw like some non-uniform all caps versus like, you can have, where am I going with this? Sometimes all caps will be something that happens to people in certain professions, but usually how you tell the difference between if someone is writing in all caps because it's for their profession or not is like how uniform it is. Like for example, this person writes in all caps, but it's like very non-uniform in terms of size and in terms of like legibility as well they're struggling like this is the more um, neater version of their handwriting. Like they had two samples but um, this one was like the more neater version and you still see like the like non-uniformity non and like the speed. I have to go just see kind of an who, who these two are. Yeah. I know who the pink one is. 
Um, and like, okay. Which this is like impatience, but it's also like when you have a uniformity, it's like you can't really count on this person to behave predictably. This person is kind of like always kind of impatient and fast. So it's like you can you can kind of have an expectation of how they'll behave. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, I don't know. Some people are genuinely unpredictable and you don't know what the heck to expect <laughs> from them. And this person, this person, you kind of know to expect the unexpected, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I was just going to say, I was like, that that's expected of this person of like not to expect <laughs> anything or like not like to be uh, unexpected with this person that's expected. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> the other thing I saw is I saw quite a bit of like mixing all caps and lowercase which would indicate defiance like it can also indicate ADHD but honestly like ADHD is like such a huge spectrum that it's I find it really hard to I don't know see what people have in common but I noticed I don't know there were a lot of capital R I'm like where like for example, in in this person, there's like some big giant R's, and I'm like, what is going on? Hmm. So it's like mixing these all caps. Oh, and I also put her in a in the in this category. I don't think she, this person's actually an angry person, but they were definitely like kind of sick of it when writing this, just because of like <laughs> all the underlining. You notice like. If you, I'm not comparing this person to a dictator, but a lot of dictators <laughs> have so much underlining when they write things down. So I don't think this is how this person normally is. I, I think this no. person is just sick of getting like unsolicited DMs being like, oh my God, read my astrology chart. Mm-hmm. And they're like, go get lost. <laughs> so well, yeah, this is, this is one of the accounts uh that she gets not like hundreds of dms hundreds uh saying like oh you know you reached out to me but i think it's a different account that you made and she's like i literally don't have any more account like it's one of those things where it's just scammers and um she gets a ton of them because she actually does do readings but she doesn't reach out to Mm -hmm. people and so she's just so over like having to say this yeah so i think she that was you you have to approach it you yeah have like, to approach, like a level of like diplomacy <laughs> do not send me an email do not yes. send me a damn email when I tell you don't email me like I I yeah that's exactly so that's hilarious. hilarious I think she's gonna get a kick out of that you're a dictator Robin you heard it here first you're a dictator <laughs> let's see this one I mean like we've got some giant k's which is an indicator of defiance but this one I think I was just also noticing like the compression like this one has some indicators of depression in there. So I'm, uh, oh, let me see. but I guess I did put it in this category. Like this one just indicates I would like depression because I was just like getting this, like the baseline is kind of sinking, like it starts at the top and then it gets kind of lower. And also the form is kind of suffering, like, and the middle zones are all like closed. So it's like emotional, emotionally closing off, not to get in this person's business, but I put this person in, in this category because, um, because it's, it, it is compressed letters and it does have a speed to it, but I don't know if this person is actually angry now that I really think about it, but what was I talking, I was talking about how I noticed like some mixing of all caps and lowercase, yeah. and like for the gentle people, like some of them aren't just gentle, some of them are just traumatized but okay aren't we all i i know aren't we all i guess these people aren't necessarily like gonna kick you in the shins you know the same way like people in the other category might they might kick you in the shins these (laughs) guys these guys don't kick any shins because this one i noticed like there's a decent amount of like slowness to all these handwritings compared to like the faster ones. Like these are all a lot slower, which would indicate caution. And a lot of these are even backslanted, like especially this one is pretty backslanted. Um, and like backslanted handwriting, it it usually indicates um, like emotional withdrawal due to past trauma, like unhealed past trauma. It doesn't mean like someone without a backslant 
like necessarily like is healed from their trauma either but it is kind of a giveaway in that sense um lower zones that loop down mm, Any, okay. anyways which which is kind of like a it's it I don't want to say it's like a feel sorry for me trait because that's like such a mean thing to say but um it is kind of associated with like um like victimizing yourself but okay so I I struggled to find what everyone had in common but yeah when I got all of these samples I was like man Leah's really got her work cut out for her because all of these are so fucking different but I did yeah, go across exactly. the board. Like I didn't stay with a saint, like this, a single practice. It was like anybody and everybody who practiced. So, yeah, no. And, and it was, and it was like really so fun to see, like, I think especially like just a lot of people with like very clear, like stylistic choices with their form, which like also just kind of shows indicate would indicate someone that like, you know, has a style to them and like, you know cares about how they're coming across and um and like has this like unique creativity about them like I know that like I definitely noticed but then there are some people that are that like kind of other aspects of their personality are kind of showing through more than others perhaps I'm like I think that's all I got cool no that was super that was interesting crazy. That was chaotic, but <laughs> that's okay. Like, I mean, as you yeah. as you talk about kind of the the different pieces, kind of like black back slants and upper zone and lower zones and things like that, I'll try to link like mm -hmm. above. Um, if people are like, I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah. Thanks for coming on and like, I guess not roasting my friends, but <laughs> um, oh, and and if I ever if I ever like poked too hard at any of them when doing my analyses, you can always just like, I don't know. <laughs> cut me off by okay, saying anything no, I, that they're like I think how could you okay. say that yeah no I think everything well that and also if there was anything that I I think might have been kind of like oh I I'm I didn't say their name you know I I'm gonna leave everything for Leah to find her down in the description make sure you check out her channel it's fascinating she's awesome and yeah that's all I think I'm gonna pull you over to Patreon and give you a chance to roast me and my handwriting so we'll see how that goes so if you're interested in seeing that you know it's five bucks a month it's a coffee it's less than a starbucks coffee every single month to support me <laughs> so yeah check that out and as always thanks for watching best of luck be kind to each other and may your gods treat you as you've treated others bye mm -hmm.